Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am the Viking and today we are on January 10th devotion out of Billy Graham's Peace for Each Day and today's devotion is a Christian view of those who suffer. Psalm 140 12 I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Cheers. A Christian will be concerned about suffering humanity around him the poverty and suffering of thousands of people in your own neighborhood will become a concern to you. You will join with organizations and associations to help alleviate the suffering of humanity around you. I've also noticed it isn't just with people either. I noticed a lot of Christians as well as non-Christians as well, do volunteer to help unfortunate animals too. And as an animal lover, as well as someone that feels sympathy and empathy for those who are in suffering, I'm all for that. Because I don't think any of God's creatures should be suffering, but I also know that that is the choice that was made in the garden when they decided to eat the fruit from the tree and got kicked out. I know that all the suffering in the world we have brought on ourselves, some of it through Satan, but I don't give him credit for everything. But I also know Jesus who went to the cross he is there with us right now and he is there to help us through our suffering and a lot of times he uses a lot of us to do his will for helping others many people spend so much time in lofty enterprises that they make no contribution to sovereign immediately at hand who is our neighbor whoever is many people enterprises that make no contribution to suffering immediately at hand who is our neighbor well our neighbor is our fellow man not necessarily the person next to us, but it is the per but it is other people that we meet that we can extend a hand to, sinner and saint alike. Those are our neighbors. It's our fellow man and woman. Whoever is closest to us, it could be a wife, a husband, a child, or those living next door. Or again, like I said, it's also just our fellow man that we may run into down the road. Our neighbor is, is that one closest to us in our city or country than the world. The Bible says the common people heard Jesus gladly. Wherever he went, he healed the sick. He comforted the sorrowful. He gave practical encouragement. Years ago, an Anglican bishop told me that he could think of no social organization in England that did not have its roots in some evangelical awakening. The Christian will be interested and dedicated to causes that help those who suffer in our world. And in this world, there is a lot of suffering. 
there are a lot of those less fortunate. And I see it every day in my town. I see it with the homeless, which I was a part of that community for years before God lifted me out of it. And I actually remember around Thanksgiving, after I left Mom's, we decided to swing by the store to do some grocery shopping. And being a holiday, they were open, but until noon. So we kind of had to hurry, but as we were leaving, after we did our shopping, I saw this guy sitting on the side of the road with a sign talking about being a homeless vet and everything. And I have a very strong belief that a vet should never be homeless, that if you are willing to sacrifice yourself for this country, you definitely should be taken care of when you get back. And that is a strong belief I have for those who are willing to fight for our freedoms. But I had mom stop and everything I had that did not need to be cooked or heated up, I gave to the guy. And there's a car that stopped behind us that saw what I was doing. And I thought he was gonna be going off on me for stopping right there, holding him up. But actually he smiled, he waved, and he went into his back seat, grabbed a bag, and next thing I know he's given the guy like, I think it's two or three bags of stuff. So, uh, anytime you see anyone <clears throat> in suffering, please don't hesitate to help. It doesn't always have to be with giving money because some of us don't carry cash with us. But uh, if uh, you leave a store and you are able to help someone, I highly recommend it because uh, especially on a holiday like Thanksgiving, I just felt bad and the fact the guy was a veteran really made it worse. But uh, I'm all about helping those who need it if I have means to. But. I love you all, stay blessed, stay caffeinated, and always remember, if you have the means or the time to help your fellow man, love you all.